Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. I'm Pete Gruber and today I'd like to share with you why you all are going to want an electric vehicle. Are you tired of auto maintenance? There are countless moving parts in an internal combustion engine car that can leak, break, and wear out regularly. In fact, they're designed to wear out on purpose. According to Graham Kozak from AutoWeek.com, automakers themselves put the kibosh on EV tech in the early 20th century because they can't sell as many parts on account of simpler powertrains. EVs have a fraction of these problems, and in fact, many EV manufacturers provide up to an eight-year warranty for most major parts and repairs. What about EV entry costs? In most cases, entry costs for EVs are still higher than ICE cars. When you factor in the reduced maintenance with EVs and lower fuel costs, tax credits, this curve begins to flatten out. EV manufacturers are working diligently on developing vehicles that are lower in cost than ICE vehicles. Nothing on four wheels has ever performed like EVs. They're breaking safety records, handling records, and clocking some of the fastest times ever recorded at the drag strip. Ice cars, you see, have to spool up RPMs in order to achieve the same max torque and horsepower that is instantly available in an EV even at zero RPM, which means that EVs win every time off the line. EVs have another highly efficient feature called regenerative braking. When you let off that accelerator pedal, and remember, you can't call it a gas pedal anymore. The drive motor turns into an alternator charging the battery. Once you learn to drive an EV and learn to depend on regen braking to handle your moderate stopping, not only are you using energy far more efficiently, but also extending the life of your brakes. We have a local customer that uh, works 70 miles from his house. He's got almost 200,000 miles on a Model S with original brakes. What about safety? The Tesla Model S P85D currently holds the highest safety rating ever given by Consumer Reports, scoring 99 out of 100. There are cool features with EVs that ICE vehicles simply don't have. For example, full autopilot features, which could make commuting safer for distracted drivers and folks under the influence. So you're out drinking with your buddies, the car can actually drive you home safely and without a ticket. Those DUIs are pretty nasty. What about the convenience of an electric vehicle? Well, I got an interesting story to tell you. We just had a fire here recently and I'm the designated test driver. So I've been driving electric vehicles solid for like two years now. We can't go on vacation so I don't get any rental cars, which are usually ICE vehicles. So literally, I have not driven an ICE vehicle. After the fire, there were no more test vehicles for me to drive, so I went back to one of our company cars and actually got an ICE vehicle. First thing the manager told me when he handed me the keys is, this thing is running on fumes, you're going to have to stop at the gas station. So I figured, okay, this will be fun, I haven't done that in a while. I get to QT, and I'm suddenly trying to decide, now wait a minute, which side is the gas cap on? I didn't realize they now have a little code in there that by the gas tank symbol, it has a little arrow. So I took a chance and I got it right. I get out of the car, I do my credit card thing, I, I pick up the gas nozzle and I open the, um, uh, the lid and I can't find the gas cap. So I'm looking for what happened, did they leave it off? I finally realized they've changed that. There's now a one-way valve there. So I put the, um, uh, the nozzle in, I start pumping gas and I go and clean my windows. I come back about three minutes later and it's still pumping. Then I do some more cleaning on the car and when I came back, I look at the uh, pump, and I'm going, what? $67.40? What the heck happened just now? So then I finally get in my ICE vehicle, and um, I'm starting to drive down the road, and I realize this thing has no guts. In fact, when I step on the gas, there's a little lag, and then it makes a weird noise, and I'm not going anywhere like I usually do in my EVs. It's slow, it's cumbersome, and it smells bad. So I'm really missing my EVs at this point. With my EV, when I get home at night, I simply plug in and by morning I've got a full tank of gas. No fuss, no muss, and I don't even see the charge even though it's buried on my electric bill somewhere, but I don't think it's $67.40 
for a tank of gas. With an ICE vehicle, you have to take regular trips to the gas station. If you have solar on your house, your fuel for your EV might even be free, and of course better for the planet. As far as fossil fuel costs, electricity is cheaper. We found that it's around $65 for 500 miles of gas versus $20 for 500 miles of EV usage. Now, let's discuss the range of an EV. Well, before Tesla, EVs were less than 100 miles range. Then Tesla developed the Roadster that suddenly took us to 240 miles range, and newer EVs like Lucid are now pushing over 500 miles. A million mile battery, they say, is next, which means that your refueling stops on trips become less and less frequent. What about emissions? In a fossil fuel car, you have plenty. You've seen some of these diesel pickup trucks going down the road or semis, and they're spewing all kinds of hydrocarbon in the air. With an EV, you have no emission, zero. It does not put any hydrocarbons into the air, and you'll be doing your part to reduce your carbon footprint. There's another compelling reason to get into electric vehicles. There are production bans coming on ICE vehicle cars. The timeline set so far that we're seeing are 2030, 2035, and what will come next is ICE vehicle driving bans. Some countries have even gone to 100% electric sales only, like Norway. That's our show, folks. Check out the links on our description and tell us if you support EVs or ICE vehicle cars. Hope you have a better understanding why you should get an EV and make sure to follow us on social media and smash that like button and enable notifications. We'll see you next time.